morning guys it is currently october 7th i know it's been quite a long time since i uploaded but you would know if you follow me on instagram that i have talked about maybe not doing beauty videos anymore i mean not like focusing my channel on beauty videos i kind of just want to do like the vlog style and have some family memories and everything to add to my channel just so we can look back on those when we are older and when our kids are older and everything um so yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing with my channel recently. I did have some vlog footage from earlier, but I am vlogging on my phone because it's just easier for me and it like wouldn't upload to my computer or something. It was very strange, so I wasn't able to upload that footage, but this is going to be the start of a vlogs for my channel. So today I'm just going to be out running some errands and doing a few things around the house. I do have some cleanup to do in my previous uh, footage that I was going to upload. I had switched out two of our bedrooms because I have started an in-home photography business as well as like outdoor photography and everything um, just on the side outside of work and everything. Um, so I moved our two bedrooms around and so I have like all of my previous lighting and everything that I had um, using for YouTube videos in my photography studio and a backdrop and everything. And then I have like my vanity and everything where I get ready over here in this area it's so messy just ig ignore that but i just moved everything around and yeah i just wanted to update you all on what's been going on and what i'm really doing with my channel so yeah i'm going to eat some breakfast get ready and go run some errands and i will see you in a few the sound of your heart gets stuck in my head so i can't breakfast and just doing some morning things um i'm just gonna get ready throw on just a little bit of makeup and then go run some errands i'm gonna take you all with me so i'm just going to fast forward through this real quick and just get ready um and then i will see you in a few minutes basically all I do on like an everyday basis with makeup I just want to cover my redness a little bit like I don't care if it's not completely covered you can still most definitely see some redness on my face right now um I usually wear this to work as well because I don't have time in the morning to get ready um but yeah this is kind of just the everyday look very natural 100% I don't do my eyebrows I just put a gel through them and I don't even put mascara on I just curl my lashes and yeah, usually I'll just put like a nude nude lipstick or lip gloss on, but I need to brush my teeth before I put any lipstick on. And first I have to finish my coffee. So yeah, I think before I go anywhere though, I'm going to clean up this disaster of a room. Like it is just, that's disgusting. I'm embarrassed. I don't even know why I showed that, that's embarrassing, but I have to clean that up. And then maybe I'll give you a little mini tour of where I keep my makeup. It's not that much. Um, I need to get rid of a ton because I mean, I'm never gonna go through it. I'm not gonna do really beauty videos anymore, but I still use quite a bit of what I have, but I definitely need, definitely need to go through and get rid of things that are expired and that I will never use ever. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Take some coffee and I will get through it. I thought it would. It took 
about like 15 minutes or so. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you where I keep my makeup, which is in this IKEA drawer. I think this is part of the Alex collection, I believe, or Alec. I'm not 100% sure, but I can link it down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I organize my makeup and what's in this little drawer. So in the top drawer, I just have my jewelry and sunglasses and watches and everything. I don't really wear a ton of jewelry. So I don't have a lot and I don't need a huge space for it. I usually wear like dainty necklaces like these and nothing much else. I don't really wear like any of these necklaces anymore. I need to go through and get rid of like most of my jewelry because I just don't wear it. I wear like the same two necklaces every day. So yeah, that's what's in the first drawer. And in the second drawer, I have my foundations and concealers, primers, uh, moisturizers and powders, pretty much the entire face products except for like bronzer and blush and everything like that yeah I definitely need to go through these holy cow nobody needs this much foundation but I have worn every single one of them um, but some of them are just not my shade and they never will be my shade like uh, these darker ones I'll never get that dark ever unless I do like a fake tan which I don't normally do and then I just have some concealers I definitely need to go through this as well I have like four of the same concealer that are empty and I just need to go through them and make sure that there's no product left, that way I can just throw them away. And then I have all of these primers and powders, and then just some skincare things. So that's the first drawer. And then, whoop, see this is not a very good organization system. I think I have a blush down in here stuck. Okay, so in this third drawer I have my bronzers, blush, highlights, and lip products. So these are all of my bronzers. I um, have quite a few, but I usually just use like the butter bronzer or my Kat Von D shade light palette, um, which is in another drawer. But these are all my bronzers and these are all the blushes that I have. I don't wear blush all that often, so I don't have too many. And then all of my highlights are in this little container back here. A lot of these containers I got from the dollar store or Michaels, like these thick, um, more sturdy containers are from Michaels, and then these little flimsy ones um, are from the Dollar Tree, which I use like for less um, heavy products, I guess. So yeah, I have all my lip products in here, and then there are a few more back in there. That's the one thing I don't like about these drawers. If you are looking into getting like the Alex drawers, um, they don't pull out all the way. There's still like quite a bit of space back in here that you can't really see the products. So if I wanted to get this basket back here, I'd have to take all of this out and scoot that up and get into it, which I don't particularly like, but you know, this is what I have, so. And then moving on to this drawer, this is where I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes, uh, mascara, eyeliner, eyebrows, pretty much everything for the eyes. I've got some false lashes, lash glue, primers, and everything like that. And then I have some single shadows back here. Yep, this is all of my eyeshadow palettes. 100% need to go through this. And maybe give some away to some friends or someone, anybody that needs it and would use it. And then down here, it's kind of like a junk drawer. It kind of is stuck sometimes. I've got some face masks and just some extra. I've got all of my nail polish that I don't have on display. And then some makeup wipes, some moisturizer, and then this is where I keep all of my setting sprays and a random razor, apparently. Um, I definitely need to get some more setting sprays. I have another one in my purse, but I need to get some good ones. So if you all have any good recommendations, please let me know. Yeah, and then this bottom drawer is just kind of like Mason's drawer. It has all of his notebooks and everything in it. And then up here, I just have some tools in here. And then hair things and then a ton of hand sanitizer that I need to throw away because I will not use that. Um, and then I've got my brushes and this is all my face brushes that I keep in this little spinny thing. And then I just keep all of my eyeshadow brushes in this thing right here that obviously need to be cleaned. So yeah. And then this side of the desk is kind of just uh, the office portion of the desk. I usually will have like my laptop here if I'm using it in here. Normally I use it in the living room on the couch though. Um, I just have some pens and markers. Is this not the cutest little pen? It's a paintbrush. Love it. And then I've just got some office things here. Yep. And then I've got some candles and everything and then just some decor. And then over here in, in this room as well, I have my in-home photography studio because I don't have an, another extra spare bedroom. So I just have my lights, like I said, 
and the backdrop system. And then I keep all the supplies and everything that I need in that closet. And I also keep a lot of my art business stuff in there, like my finished pieces and everything. I keep them in that closet so they're safe and away from harm. So that is this room cleaned, complete. Now I need to go run a few errands. I'm actually gonna go to Lowe's, which is where I work if you don't know. I've gotta get a few things. And I might take Millie with me, cause she's so cute. So yeah, I will see you all in a few. So I was originally going to bring Millie, but it looks like it's raining or it's about to rain, so I'm not going to bring her. So I'm just going to go ahead and head to Lowe's and get my errands over with. That way I can come back to the house, clean up a little bit some more. And I'm also planning on doing some photography for my art business. I need to get my website going, my Etsy account. I was going to do that to sell some art online. But I need to get tons and tons of really good pictures, so I was going to do that today inside. I was going to get some outdoor photos too, just because I like that style, I'm um, taking photos of art out outdoors, but it's raining so I can't do that. So I'm just going to do some indoor photos for now. What is going on with my hair? Oh, okay. So yep, I'm just going to go head to Lowe's and do some errands. And I might go to Walmart. Um, I also might go to the Dollar Tree. Uh, we'll see uh, when I get out and about and see how I'm feeling and go from there. It's definitely raining the show. Oh my lord, look at my hair. What is wrong with it? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. The one thing that really sucks about filming on my phone, um, it's much easier to film on my phone in the car because I have a little device in my camera that I usually film on. It's way too fat and chunky to put on a little suction cup in my car. It like hangs down too low. I cannot put that in my car. But I can't play music on my phone when I'm videoing. It, it kind of sucks, but I mean, I have the radio, so that'll just have to do for now. I thought about using my old phone to video on, but I'm trying to trade that in. I just got the new iPhone 10X Max. Um, it has really good video quality. Uh, I really like it. it. Takes really good photos as well, which my phone I upgraded from the 6S Plus, and it was not very good uh, camera quality. So I'm excited to have this. I really wish it wasn't raining. Rain makes me not want to do anything, and the fact that it's a Sunday and raining makes me just not want to do anything extra, like hard, extra not do anything. But I've got to get some stuff done. I really need to do some laundry for this upcoming week for me and Mason both. <sighs> There's just so much to do in so little time, and I wasted away the whole day yesterday <laughs> doing nothing. But I've been super, like, non-stop lately. I've got art shows coming up, so I've been preparing for those, and that takes, like, a lot of time especially since I have a full-time job I only have like the evenings to do do the things that I need to do for my art but I have quite a bit of things completed from my last show so for these next few shows upcoming I won't have to do a ton of prep for them I already have like my layout and setup um, the way I like it so it's a little less hectic once you get your first show over with and get your inventory up it's really not that bad but Ooh, that first show I was I was tired but I feel like I have a good inventory to where I don't need to kill myself trying to get a ton of stuff together and put it all displayed and everything like I don't have to do like 45 different pieces in a week which is kind of what I did and it was rough on myself because I did have to work I, I work at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday so I couldn't stay up late either doing the things that I needed to do and it was just, it was not fun. But like I said, I feel like I have a good inventory to where I don't need to like do a ton of pieces at once anymore. I can just do a few here and there.
Ooh, it might be raining, but it is freaking hot here in Missouri. It is like very humid and sticky. And I'm sweating. And I was in that store for maybe like 20 minutes. And I walked outside and it is so hot and sticky from the rain. My hair, oh my lord, it's a hot mess. Okay, there we go. So I'm heading to the Dollar Tree right now. Um, just to see what I can find there. I love the Dollar Tree. Mason is like completely against the Dollar Tree. I don't know why. He hates it. He thinks every day, everything there is crappy. Which some of it most definitely is. But not all of it. Um, but I love it. So I'm going to go and see what I can find. I know they have some really cute like fall decor out right now. And eventually I want to do some uh, Dollar Tree DIY decor items for a video. So let me know if you're interested in that. I think that, that would be a fun video to do. And I get to go to the Dollar Tree and everything's a dollar. And you can do so much with the stuff at the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna show you what I got from Lowe's and the Dollar Tree. It's a bunch of random stuff, so don't judge. I will show you why I got it. Um, first thing I'm gonna show you what I got from Lowe's. I got this frog tape. Um, I've heard a lot of artists use this with their resin because it doesn't stick to it, so I wanted to try it out, and I just got like the thinnest one they had for now. Um, but it's just better than painter's tape is what I've heard, better than like the blue um, painter's tape, so this is what it looks like. It's this thin um tape it stinks it smells weird i don't know why i always smell things when i first get it but that smells weird so yeah i got that just for some art all the stuff i got at lowe's was for um chromatics my art business so i got some clear silicone this is to make like molds and barriers for resin i'm going to eventually start doing some geode art i'm gonna hopefully do some tonight and maybe film some of that as well maybe i don't know yet um, but yeah, I've heard this is really good for making molds, so I'm going to use this. And then with that silicone, you have to have a caulking gun. I learned that last night. So I wasted two bottles of silicone because I didn't have a caulking gun. So, it's whatever. But this one has like the puncturing. You have to puncture the foil that's in here. And then it's got like the tip um, cutter. So, don't stick your finger in this hole because you'll get your finger cut off. Um, but yeah, this is just for... The cotton gun you just pull this back and stick the little tube in here and then this pushes the bottom up and yeah I didn't know how to have one of these if I got one of these so lesson learned and then I also got this big uh, piece of acrylic just plastic just for like underneath the molds and everything because resin won't stick to this it's, e it's gonna be easy for me to get it off of the plastic and the acrylic so I got that and then at the Dollar Tree, I just got a bunch of random stuff. I just got some Q-tips and some cotton pads just to put back in my little jars up there that I'm out of. I also got a kitchen sponge because we ran out of these and I use these all the time. And then to the fun part, I got a ton of marbles because I use those in my art as well. I got some of these white and red ones. And then I've got I've got a ton of just the plain clear ones. I think I got like three bags. Yeah, that'll be plenty for what I'm wanting to do. And then I also got these um, pebble style ones. Let me open these and I'll show them to you. Because I use these in our vases. And the vase that we have is huge. So I need another pack. But they're like just brown little like rock pebbles that you find in the creek. <laughs> and then I got some more like sea, some sea glass style ones. And then some random green ones. I just thought these were a cool shape. You can see they're kind of like a, a geode shape. So, and then I also got some like pebbles that you would find and put in like a fish tank. So, I got some of these white ones as well, just to add some texture and dimension to the art. And like I said, that was a bunch of random shit. But that's all I got. And I think I'm just gonna eat some lunch, and then I will figure out if I'm gonna do. I definitely need to take some pictures of my art. 
So I'm definitely gonna do that in here. And I can show you that, but I need to eat some lunch because I'm a little hungry. I didn't eat that big of a breakfast. So yeah, I'm gonna eat some lunch and I will be back later. So my camera battery is dead and it takes a long time for it to charge. Um, so I'm just going to show you the setup that I have for my art photography. Um, I'll be able to show you maybe like some behind the scenes in between shoots, but I'm not gonna be able to vlog the whole thing. But I will show you the setup that I have. So this is flooring that I got from Lowe's a while ago. It's just like a pack of like cheap vinyl flooring um, for like 20 bucks or something. You can get it at, at Lowe's or Home Depot. And then I have all of my lights set up and I'm mainly just gonna use this flooring as a backdrop. Just ignore all of that. That's nothing, it's not gonna be in the shoot. It's just mainly gonna be this backdrop right here. And again, I got it from it. So these are a few of the coaster sets that I've made that I'm going to take some photos of. Um, these are for sale, so if you're interested, I can link my um, Instagram and Facebook page for my art business down below. It's called Chromatics, if you're interested. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some photos of these and then some other pieces of them. So I just finished photographing most of the artwork that I wanted to get done tonight. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up here. Um, I'm excited to start vlogging and doing this hopefully every week. We'll see how everything works out and if I'm like, my life is interesting enough to vlog every week. But yeah, thank you all for watching and thank you for staying subscribed even though I'm most likely not going to be doing a ton of beauty videos anymore. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this little vlog and stay tuned for the next one. Bye!